Hi everybody, I'm going to actually show you today how to make this absolutely gorgeous tree decoration. Um, you can actually see here, um, it's fab, it's 3D tree, um, it's not a great camera angle, um, but you can actually see, I'll show you a different, a, a better sort of static picture of it, but it's so simple to make and it's really quick. A great project for adults but also great for kids if you wanted to keep to actually uh, keep the kids occupied through the holidays and in the build-up to Christmas. So the first thing that we're actually going to need, all, all that we need to actually make this, is we need some double-sided tape, we need some small, I like to use some small scissors, you don't have to have those, but you know, whatever, your favourite scissors, and I also like my big scissors as well. And then all we actually need is, I'm going to use two sheets of paper, and this is actually 160 gram paper slash card this is i've actually printed a red polka dot design off the jingle jangle cd and then on the other side i've actually printed off some circles so i've actually got two sheets you can see there and i've actually got graduating circles so if if you can actually see um I've got a really huge circle there and two smaller ones. Now I haven't measured these, I've just literally made sure that they all actually graduate down in size. Okay, so you can see here I've actually done nearly all my circles and I'll just finish this last one now just to show you that I'm not doing anything difficult. Just literally, and you can see I'm not doing this carefully, you know, there are holes at the top, it really doesn't matter. So you can see now that all my little cones are all graduating. So I've only got one large one because I've used the other one for my base. And then I've got two each of all the others. And you can actually see now that when you come to stack them up, they all stack up on top of each other. Now, if you were clever, you could actually attach all those that like that, and that, that's fab tree on its own. But we're not going to do that. So I'm going to take my bottom cone, and you can use whichever scissors you like for this. I'm going to use my big ones because I know that I can use these really quickly. And all I'm going to do is just fringe around the base of that cone. Now you probably want to come about a third of the way up and the finer the actual fringing, the better the effect that you're going to get. And the only thing I would just say is when you get to the seam, just try and cut it along the seam like that. Okay, so you can see I'm just doing it really carefully. And this is why I always use big scissors. So any of you that don't use big scissors, you need some, get some. <laughs> um, and then all I'm going to do, now that's fringed, is I'm just going to take a pen or a pencil. I wanted my pricking tool, but I couldn't find it. And all I'm going to do is just literally shit this fringing. And not being careful. If you want to, you can roll it up in your fingers. You can get quite a nice effect if you do that. But just initially go around and just actually fringe. Um, I did this at a class yesterday and the girls were actually using bone folders and that worked really well. If I can find my bone folder. There we go. Because obviously this will then shape and it does work really well. So you can literally just shape like that. So if you then sit that on top of the original base, you can see how the base is actually going to support that. So all you do is you do the same with all your other cones um, until you actually finish them all. Okay, so I've actually um, frilled all my um, little fringes up now. And what we're actually going to do now is I just need to take some double-sided tape. And oh, I've already done it on here for you, it's just the speed for the video. Um, and what I've done is I've just coiled it around the top of my cone. So this is my base cone. And believe it or not, this is easy lift tape. 
and I've just literally put it around the top. And then what I'm going to do is take my largest layer and it's better if you actually sit your cone down and I'm just going to literally pop that on the top there. And if you just squeeze the top and it will actually attach to the double sided tape. So now you can actually see that this cone is actually going to make it all stand up right. So I've actually pre-done all my layers, so I'm just going to put some more on. I need to just put another piece on there. So, just literally, I don't have to measure or do anything like that. Near me, I don't do it if it's difficult. If it needs measuring, I don't do it. Okay, just curl it round. This is why it didn't matter if you had holes in the top of your cones. Another one on the top, and these ones I've already done. And you can see here that these two layers are actually the same size, but it doesn't matter because what that means is it's going to actually give you the extra height. So what I'm going to do is just pull that down. So when you're doing, let's pop down, let me put another piece of tape on there. I just want to show you, if yours are a little bit flat, if you find they're a bit flat, and you haven't got the depth between your layers, if you maybe haven't made your circles graduate quite enough, really you want sort of a good half inch in between your circles, this is the way to get that extra height. So I've put some extra tape on this one, and I'm just going to push that in like that, and it's actually stuck onto one side. So you can see it hasn't particularly, it's slightly lopsided, but it doesn't matter because it'll even out when I put the next layers on. So this is my next one, and the smaller the layers get, the easier it'll be to actually attach them because they're all sticking in now. So there we go, and that's quite, that's actually quite a big layer, I'm going to leave that one off because I don't want it to be too big. That's my next one. You can see how I'm just squeezing those in just to make them fit on the top there. I'm going to leave that one off. So you, you can make your choice of whether you want to actually put every layer on. You don't have to. You know, just go with it. And what, whatever looks and feels right to you is the right way of doing it. And that's going to be my top one. And there you go. That's your Christmas tree. How easy is that? It's just so simple. So I'm not going to show you how to decorate. You know how to decorate it. On this one, all I actually did was... For the topper, I just took a stamp, and this is off my Daisy Doodle stamp, um, Christmas Doodle stamps, um, and it's just a little Noel topper greeting, and all I've done is I've actually stamped it twice, coloured it in, these are coloured with Copics, but you can use whatever you like, you can watercolour it or whatever, cut it out, and then I've actually put some 3D foam between it, and then left the bottom had some 3D foam at the bottom but left it open and then I actually squeezed it over onto the top of my tree there. So where I've got my double sided tape here I've left that on but I also have 3D foam on the actual top here so that actually then hides that and that's your topper and that's the, the most secure way to get that topper on and it's also good because it means you can handle it that way.